I'm here with the one and only Lynn Redgrave. Very exciting to meet you. So excited to talk to you about your advocacy for animals. Well, I'm, I'm really a big advocate for animals, but I'm a bigger advocate for Animal Haven because that's where I found my dog, Viola. And in, so in 2003, I was going through chemotherapy and I was in a show, but I could basically couldn't do my usual hiking. My legs were like wool. And I thought, I'd like a dog. And at that moment, through the door came this brochure from Animal Haven. I mean, it just seemed like, it seemed to be like that. So I looked, at it, I saw the website, I went on the website, and I saw about their sanctuary for, you know, injured or unadoptable dogs. I thought, oh, that's fantastic. It said, email us a description of your dream dog. And I did, which mostly had to do with temperament. And I got a call from Marcello Forte one hour later saying, we think we have your dream dog. And that's Viola. So it's just, to me, it's the best. It's what the kind best. of dog is Viola? Viola, in, she's Viola. The oh, Viola. Twelfth Night, yes. <laughs> because she was shipwrecked on my shores, Illyria, you see, there you are, and found happiness, yeah. And she looks like a boy, and Viola dressed, disguised herself as a boy, see. She looks like, uh, if there was such a thing as a miniature Irish wolfhound, that would be her. She's about 51 pounds, but she looks like an Irish wolfhound. She's fantastic. Now, when you're shooting, does she go with you? She, she did. She came with me to California. I was just there doing a play, and she, she flew on, on the plane, and she did great. She had to go in the hold, and she just handled it great. Yeah. When you're away from her and, and you, you can't bring her with, you know, do you just do, do you miss her terribly? Because I have cats and that's how I feel. I travel a lot. I miss her dreadfully. I miss her to the point where, because she sleeps in my room, I, when I'm, I was in Colorado for about five days this summer doing something and she wasn't with me. And I woke in the night and I heard her breathe. She's just my, she's my best friend. We, we, she's very athletic, so she keeps me fit. But she... She just, we understand each other. It's, she's, I feel like she can talk. I mean, she does talk in her way. The best thing I ever did was have that brochure come through my door. Well, so you can literally stand here and say, tell people, because I have, all my animals have come from shelters, that shelters should be the place you go to find a pet. I, I, I absolutely think so. I have more friends who've spent lots of money on dogs who also... I guess, you know, what the breeding problems or whatever that end up with some extraordinary health problems, there's that. But for a start, there are so many wonderful dogs who just, I don't know, there's something about an adopted dog too. It's like they do know. They are so clever. They know they've been saved. And they, they're amazing. The first day I took my dog in Central Park, hadn't had a very long, let her off, first time I let her off the leash. And all these dogs who'd had thousands of dollars worth of training People were yelling, Quincy, Chester, come here. None of them were listening. And I just clapped my hands and said, Viola. And I had changed her name, so it was new to her. And she just turned right around and came back to me. Now, so and Viola should put her in so. but she's still so she'll down to earth. Who, who, where, who trained that dog? I said, well, I just adopted her a few days ago. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's great. I hate it that people um, don't go first to a shelter. I think they should. You know, you can't tell people what to do, but, you know, people are shipping in dogs at huge expense from all over the country. When I landed from Los Angeles, there were five or six people waiting for a different flights for their puppies who they, purebred puppies of different breeds, who are being shipped from breeders. They'd never seen this puppy before. They'd spent a huge amount of money. They'd spent the airfare. And then there's all these dogs here. I know. So I know. Just take a dog. Yeah. Lynn Redgrave, a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for your support at this uh, wonderful event, and we hope to get all the animals who come through these doors adopted and, and homes like yours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about another one. I'm not quite sure whether I can handle two, but, but I'll be the, guess where I'll be coming if I, right if here. I decide. Exactly. To Animal Haven. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Take care.